Don't let your plants die from this. Hi, I'm Dave. I'm living my dream of being a full-time hydroponic farmer, and I'm here to show you my tips and tricks. Let's get started! Okay, so here's gonna be three ways to prevent root rot in your hydroponic garden. Trust me, root rot is definitely not a friendly. It's caused by a nasty bacteria called Pythium. It's a pretty bad dude, and I wouldn't wish it on my enemy's garden. Or maybe I would, I don't know. Stick around because step three is an absolute game changer that once saved my harvest from like total destruction. All right, so let's get in. Step one, aerate your water. Here's the deal. Your nutrient solution needs oxygen and plenty of it. Think of it like a fish tank. You aerate your hydroponic garden just like a fish tank. And your goal is to keep the dissolved oxygen levels above eight parts per million. Now you don't need a fancy meter to measure that eight parts per million, unless you're just really fancy, but you do need to get that air moving through your nutrient solution. My go-to methods are the waterfall technique, air stones, or my personal favorite, the Venturi system. Or if you're really fancy and you've got money to burn, you can get a nano bubbler, but that's like way out of my price range. Go south and you're really in an emergency, you can use hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, H2O2. It's really good at boosting dissolved oxygen. We'll talk more about that in, in a minute. And just the FYI, I use air stones and air pump in my basic flood and drain system. But for these larger hydroponic systems that you see behind me, I use Venturi. And I love those because it adds circulation to the nutrient solution. So I have a video, you can check it out in the, in the description for a full breakdown on that. Okay, step two, keep it chill. No, literally. Temperature really matters. You need to keep your nutrient solution between 50 and 75 degrees if you want to win the root rot battle. Every degree over 75 degrees and your dissolved oxygen levels take a nosedive faster than you can say pythium. If you can't keep your nutrient solution below 75 because your greenhouse or grow room is like a sauna, don't worry. Enter hydrogen peroxide, our trusty hydroponic sidekick. It's basically water with like an extra mo oxygen molecule. I know it's fancy science stuff and it's fantastic both for adding oxygen to your nutrients solution and for obliterating root rot. It'll it'll also help prevent algae. I like to call it my magic potion because you just add two to four teaspoons of 3% hydrogen peroxide per gallon of nutrient solution and voila, you're going to raise your dissolved oxygen. And as a side note, it'll also kill pythium and it'll also prevent algae. Okay, step three, HydroGuard. This is awesome stuff, but it's expensive. But don't worry, I've got a, a cheap alternative that I'm going to share with you in just a second. Okay, let's get back to HydroGuard. That's awesome because it decomposes organic matter in your nutrient solution. It boosts root mass and vigor. It can suppress that damping off disease. It fights root rot and it'll destroy algae. Seriously, this stuff's like a superhero for hydroponic additives. Now, HydroGuard is actually ridiculously expensive and it's very diluted, but here's the exciting part. I've got an affordable solution that works just as effectively. Are you curious? Here it is. Garden Friendly Fungicide by Southern Ag. It's on Amazon and it's a 99% concentrate of the same active ingredient found in HydroGuard. And it'll do the same thing that HydroGuard. So that's it for today, folks. Don't forget to drop your questions down in the comment section or you can even share your Pythium horror stories. And hey, check out some of my other videos while you're at it.